Vice President Kamala Harris is said to be considering a trip to the southern border this week during a campaign stop in Arizona. Harris has taken considerable criticism from Republicans for her role as the Biden administration's border czar. Fox's Jackie Heinrich has the story. I've been very clear. I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe to actually put back in law the protections for reproductive freedom. Swift reaction from two formerly Democratic senators who blocked Biden's request to do just that two summers ago. Now independent Senator Kirsten Sinema writing to state the supremely obvious, eliminating the filibuster to codify Roe v. Wade also enables a future Congress to ban all abortion nationwide. What an absolutely terrible, short-sighted idea. And Senator Joe Manchin with this. Well, Harry Reid tried that with just a district and circuit courts, circuit judges, and then the Republicans came back and did it for the Supreme Court. But it's not the first time Harris has made this pitch. As a candidate in 2019, I am prepared to get rid of the filibuster to pass a Green New Deal. And as VP in 2022, quote, we have to codify Roe v. Wade into law. If the filibuster gets in the way, the Senate needs to make an exception to get this done. But Harris may be wading into more controversy. Border czar Kamala Harris has decided for political reasons that it's time for her to go to the border. With a possible trip to the border Friday when she visits Arizona. I don't think her going to the border makes any sense at all. Frankly, that plays right into Donald Trump who wants to make the border the number one issue. A CNN poll today has Trump beating Harris by 14 points on immigration. In Arizona specifically, she's behind Trump by 12 points on the issue among registered voters, 13 among likely voters. And it seems Harris doesn't have a lot to say about her border policy outside of restating support for the bipartisan border bill. Today, the campaign not answering whether she would uphold her 2019 pledge to use executive powers to grant dreamers a pathway to citizenship and shield 6 million from deportation, which she railed against in 2018. Go, 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 the bipartisan border bill that Harris has made her entire immigration pitch included no provision for dreamers. It would also end the Biden-Harris administration's controversial CBP-1 app. The campaign did not respond to specific questions today. They're instead touting endorsements from 400 economists and former officials ahead of an economic policy speech tomorrow in Pennsylvania. At the White House, Jackie Heinrich, Fox News.